I grew up in a pretty white collar family, as I mentioned, my dad was a nuclear engineer and he was really my hero. Um, he escaped Hitler when he was 11 years old. Um, his maternal grandparents were raising him and they put him on a boat by himself with jewelry and money sewn in his pocket and he came to America. He always told me I could do anything. We never discussed, you're a girl, you can't do this. So I never really looked at things as being, I'm doing this because I'm a woman. I'm doing this because I want to do this. I did kind of break the glass ceiling a couple times when I was younger. I didn't realize that only boys could light candles at church and girls couldn't do it. And so I talked to the minister and he said, all right. I always want to see an organization, if I leave, it be better than when I came. And if I can contribute to change one person's life or an organization's life, then I really believe my place on earth is fulfilled. And if I can make a difference in Twin Falls as the mayor, I'm gonna make a difference in Twin Falls, so. Those goals for me was the fact that I would run for the Idaho legislature. And you ask me why? And it's because I really felt that in order to engage in good solid public policy, we needed to be involved. But I didn't start at the Idaho legislature. Soon after we were married, I got involved with the local uh, cattle women at the time. I served our local industry from a, from a local to a, to a national um, level in the beef industry. I am the first woman to be um, president of the Idaho Cattle Association, chairman of the Idaho Beef Council, and served two terms in the Idaho House of Representatives. But that's not why I got involved. I got involved because I care about our communities. And I, got, I care about our families.